Good morning, YouTube. This is DSR Richter with Richter Scale Studios. This is a studio status report. Uh, I haven't made a video in a while. I promised I would make some more, but I've been out of town. And I just want to show you what I've been working on lately. I still have the, uh, the Pain Boy house work in progress, but that's been put on hold for a while. I've just kind of been working on my painting technique and practice. I haven't painted really anything in 30 years. I just took the hobby up about a year ago. And this is my painting station up in my studio. Um, I have my paints, all my brushes. There's my wash station. And backing up here, there's my airbrush station. I have a couple airbrushes ready to go. And there's the compressor. And that's the uh, vent system that goes to my uh, uh, airbrush booth you've seen in the, the previous video with the Matifactorum. Right now, I've just been practicing painting techniques. This is uh, an assault on Black Reach Captain, and I'm painting them pretty much uh, according to what you know it looks like on the uh, package. But uh, I'm using all non-metallic metal technique, and I think it's turning out pretty good. There's the, uh, the eagle on the back of his uh, cape. If I can bring him back in focus here. Let's see there. there we go. And that's not turning too bad. It's still a little cartoony, but for my uh, basically first attempt at gold and probably my second attempt total at um, any kind of non-metallic non metal, it is turning out pretty cool. It's showing up and it looks like it. It is tricking the eye. Let's see if I spin this around again. And uh, let's see if we can get that in focus there. Sorry about these people. There we go. That's not too bad. Uh, the bandage is base coated. That's not done yet. And uh, the vents on the backpack, I just decided to add a little more interest to it. So those are going to be non-metallic gold to give a little shine to it. But those are just base coated right now. And here's the actual uh, captain himself. Get him the focus. There we go. Uh, he is almost done. The tabard has just been um, uh, base coated and washed. That needs to be done. Uh, the bolt gun, I need to put a little text on the banner and uh, weather it, but that turned out pretty cool. That's just all non-metallic metals, and on his chest is all non-metallic metals. And that turned out really good. And also been working on um, my layering and blending. That's what this big cape is for. And actually, that turned out pretty good. Uh, one thing I've noticed is when you do paint something like this, it will look good to you at first. Take some photographs, and it'll show any kind of flaws you have and I might even find a couple more but uh, this was like my I did a, a once over on it and really um, try to get the blending back in you still see a couple lines in it but you know it does look pretty good I mean very uh, playable I don't know about winning uh, any kind of contest with this but um, I'm pretty happy with it uh, the base is just basically cork and a little uh, secret weapon miniature skull and that's just been base coated with some uh, Vallejo model color, I think it's uh, dark sea green, and I've got to highlight that up and add a little more interest to it, and there's going to be some weathering done on that too. Also, you'll see over here on my thing, I found on eBay to keep uh, my practice going, I got five of these guys for $11 free shipping. So, uh, you know, it's a, a good practice model you to do your layering, your blending, uh, faces especially. I'm trying to get those down to get the, the detail in it. Um, like back here at the captain, I mean, I haven't got his eyes done yet. I don't know if I might attempt it, but um, a little bit of hair. I think I did that pretty nice. I think there's three different colors of gray in there. It gives him a, a little more detail. Looks like it has some texture to it. And uh, behind him, I'm doing uh, some rehab work. These guys were all purchased on eBay in a box, and they were all painted. But these are all in different... Um, uh, states of being touched up and brought up and they're probably about 80 percent done um these aren't non-metallic metals but this is some random metals thrown on there but i like how that is turning out bring them in that focus here and uh those are pretty good and then that back row those were just those were purchased all uh put together already but they've been uh just primed by me and i just threw a base coat of uh bulk and metal on them and just uh, waiting to finish this up and that you know I always get uh, distracted sometimes and just start a uh, project and set one aside for a while uh, that should be it for now and thank you for watching please comment and subscribe